Hello and welcome to another episode of my EU4 Mew and Texas Serbia campaign. So I sold Yamboli, this province here, to Trebizond. And I'm going to try to vassalize them. I'm about four away, I think. I should be able to... Vassalize them. I can't ally them, unfortunately. But I can do a royal marriage. improve relations for that extra six. The cores are coming along. My manpower keeps dropping. I want to try to get it from the estates before it drops below again. Transfer trade power. I'm going to switch to speed 5. Proclaim a guarantee. Gets me to 106. I think influencing would give me another 25. Marriage should give me another 25. So I think that's 156. Potentially, I could offer them military access. 166. And then a gift should I believe that should put me over. Influence. Royal marriage. Damn it, I could have saved. Save my diplomat. Alright, they won't take military access for strategic interests. And the money, 200 ducats for 21. That would put me at 177. Loot scare and aggressive expansion would go nine. I have a claim apparently. What do I have a claim on?
need you to break your alliance. I think that would uh, make them mad at me, so I'm not going to do that. They would accept vassalization. Barely. So let's see, it was, I was at 177. Milanese demand and Serbian supply. It seems that the blank of Konya have been increasingly sought after in the Milanese capital, Milan. There's always a high demand for our goods, but this exceptional pull has resulted in a great surge of wealth in the province. I think it's like carpets or something? It's paper. So, the people of Milan want Konyan paper. The burgers are happy. And Konya gets luxury goods in demand. For 15 years, gives local trade power and trade value modifier. Alright. That's good. They give me money, that's even better. They don't give me manpower. Send that gift. Oh, okay. I could. I don't. Oh, I think it, I only had two hundred gold, so that's why I couldn't give them more. So let's see. One fifty-six. Twenty-five would put it at. One. 81. Yeah. So if that goes to 181, then with aggressive expansion and loot scare, that should be enough. To give them a lot of ducats, but... Sorry. All because they don't want military access. Iconoclastic Fury. Send these troops to... That's fine. Modena. Restore the Pentarchy. Roma controlled by me. Naples, Verona, Genoa, England. Could I call anybody in? Does France have... France doesn't have a truce with them. So why would it destabilize France? If I have France... Oh, well, maybe it's because of England? They don't, they don't even have a truce with England. Huh. Well, Genoa isn't really anything. Verona, I could easily knock out. It's Naples and then England. England actually has 26,000 troops. 
More so than the troops, it's I wouldn't have access in the high seas because Naples and England have a fleet that would overpower mine. Are you kidding me? Is Naples the new... Austria? What the heck is going on with these personal unions? Hungary and Burgundy. That's why they're a great power. So I could fight Naples and maybe break up one of these? Personal reunions? Fight him with France. Their liberty desire is 63%. Maybe I could just... It has a truce with Naples for 10 years. Hmm. So I'll take that mission. I'd fight this war if France joined. Otherwise, I think I might just fight Naples. And then have them break one of the personal unions that way. That'll be next year. go, offer vassalization, they accept, of course they do. Actually, I'll leave those troops there and then pick up pick up those troops. Boy is not a vassal of France anymore, and the Mamluks have a civil war.
All right, so. What's Venice's uh, navy? Okay, Naples has no navy anymore, and Venice isn't even in... Venice is nowhere to be seen. Venice has no ships. Okay, so the days of the Venice, the Venetian Neapolitan navy ruling the seas is over. They have nothing really. So I'm gonna take my ships, bring them together. So I don't really have to worry about that. Let's pull that diplomat back, put one diplomat back on outraged countries. Build a spy network on Naples, and then... Damn it, France! You, did you, you... They declared that war on purpose. They knew I was gonna call them in. I think I need an infantry. Nope, I need a cav. I lost a cav unit somehow. Who's up? Austria is fighting France. Okay, because they attacked a member of the Empire. That's not good. Because they're going to fight this big old war against Austria. They're going to get way into debt. Yeah, I really don't want to fight this alone. Especially if Naples has Hungary. Then again, I could always go to my estate. So you know what? I think I'll just... I also want manpower, though, so... This keeps decreasing for some reason. I'm gonna attack Rome and fight Rome, Naples, England, Verona... ...and all those guys. Probably by myself, but I'm gonna wait till I have manpower. Cannot drill in a province that I do not own. So I might as well have these guys drill in the meantime. I'm actually at 33 army drill. Alright, so I'm going to end this part here. In the next part, probably in the next part, I'll fight Rome, Naples, England, Verona, Hungary, Burgundy, all of those guys. So that'll be in the next part. Thank you for watching this part. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.